Um, okay, a little story. I, I generally don't like to tell stories about the poems, but a friend of mine just out of the blue sent me this poem, and I, I can't remember if he had published it. His name's Cliff Feynman, and he lives in New York, a very dear old friend. And when I read it, it immediately hit me, and I, I just sat there and wrote the second poem. But I'm going to read the first one by Cliff Feynman. It's called Long Beach, Long Island, New Year's Day Night. Oh, excuse me, that's mine. I'm going to read this. <laughs> Atlantic Hotel in Long Beach, or Long Beach, New York. There was an ocean nearby and a boardwalk from where one night while sleeping, the boy I was rooming with came limping back howling with his ribs smashed by bandits. <coughs> Having been up most of the night hearing him moan, even after the ambulance sped him away, I was tired the next day when Paula Greenland came to visit me, smiling. At 16, she might be my first lifelong friend, I thought. She walked back home because on this holiday, her religion forbade her riding in a vehicle. And she was struck by a truck, dying on the way to the hospital, covered in blood. I was sweeping up piles of dust in the dining room when the call came. I cried into my stiff red hotel jacket. All day the radio played, everything is beautiful in its own way. All right, so this game. Long Beach, Long Island, New Year's Day night. I drank beer all the way from Strobridge, Massachusetts. Vinny was driving, he newly cleaned from heroin, teaching high school. Me, desperate to get away from my wife who had told me just hours before that she was leaving the marriage. And this is after playing all day with her and her family in the snow. Then he let me ramble on, but when I said, I can't believe it, we were going to be famous rock and rollers. Fame's a bitch goddess worse than your wife. We drove on the hours in numb blur of stabbing headlights. From his house, it was just a few blocks to the once grand boardwalk. Fresh snow lay thick and muffled every sound, but the ocean's love for the brilliant white sand. There was a vast pit where a great hotel held the newlywed dreams of couples long since grandparents or buried under snow. Visiting from California, I'd never seen snowfall on a beach, and I wanted to make a vow to rescue beauty from depression, but I hadn't had enough to drink. The moon shot out from the clouds so that the world was black and white, and everything seemed new and broken at the same time. Wow.